Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hallard for an Hour. It's been a little while, we have quite a few games built up now. We have 15 games for Hallard for an Hour currently as of this video. So, expect a few Hallard for an Hour streams to pop up at this point. Now that we're finally done with the Halloween stuff. Uh, we're starting today with Fluffy's Adventure. This is an exceptionally cute and saturating game that actually looked like a lot of fun. It's kind of a uh, action-adventure game. I think it's got leveling, and you, uh, it's kind of a shoot 'em up too? It's, it looks, it, well, it looks as cute as all hell, and it got, uh, kind of almost, almost throw-upable saturating in a way, but at the same time, I really kind of like the style they have got going. It makes me think of Hello Kitty or something, but honestly, while it may be overload of cuteness, uh, I, I think this actually looks like it's going to be a really good game. But I guess that's what we're here to see. So, uh, we're going to do that. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. If you really want to help out, though, come over to Twitch. I'm trying to reach Parker, but I always need more viewers to manage that. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, do consider that. Because you add to the view count, you make a difference. Also... We have a pretty cool Discord server if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. Links are in the description, so check them out. This looks adorable. They kind of look like little pet shop animals. Oh my god, you're kind of right, actually. I see it. All right, I'm going to play this on controller. He asks, unsure. Yes? Sweet. My controller, for some reason, did not work until I unplugged it and plugged it back in. That was weird. All right. Not sure why it lost power, but it's good now. So, uh, let's look at the options, actually, before we fully begin. Uh, we have camera shake. Uh, as long as it's not too bad, I'll leave it alone. Wow, the game was pretty loud and it had to turn down, but music's only at 60%. Wow. Okay, it, if sound effects are louder, though, so let me know if it ends up being too loud or something. GUI scale 90%. Very odd values. Okay. Let's begin. Let's see what this is all like. Let's info. Easy mode for gamers who want to enjoy the game without worrying about combat. Normal mode for people who experience the game is intended. Enemies are designed to be fair but challenging. Hard mode, much more challenging version. I'll do normal mode. Alright, let's begin. Oh, Mr. S Scientist Snell has discovered new DNA. New DNA strand. One cozy evening, the land of cute mellow, scientist Snail was busy conducting his usual experiments in his lab. Due to a miscalculation, he managed to create a new form of energy that he has never encountered before. I can't believe it! I'm a genius! I know just the perfect use for this! Yes! Yes, this is perfect! Put it in a UFO, naturally. My super strong, super cool UFO prototype! could use this energy to be the fastest, most powerful spacecraft out there. But why won't this thing work? Maybe I'm not a genius after all. As scientist Dell leaves his lab to go home for the night, the mysterious energy begins to stir. Whilst the land of cute mellows in slumber, the strange energy leaks from the lab. Waves of dark, mysterious energy can be seen glowing in the starry night sky. One particularly mischievous creature is drawn in by the spectacle. What is this feeling? This energy! I... I must find the source of this power! Uzu. Is that like Owo? Uwu and Uzu? <laughs> Smash! Uzu crashes his way to the lab. Yes, this! UFO! My, my, whoever made this has really outdone themselves! It draws me! I can't control it. This is mine now! <laughs> My beautiful UFO companion! We will create chaos together! Oh no. Hello, hello there, Fenders. The next morning, Fluffy was just about to tuck into the dreamy breakfast of toast with a side of strawberry milk. Why are those capitalized? They're very special foods. Completely unaware of last night's drastic events, Fluffy is startled when the front door suddenly swings open! Fluffy, please help! There's these gross blobby monsters all over Cute Mellow, and I think Scientist Dell might be in trouble! For once, she isn't exaggerating, Fluffy. It's bad out here. It looks like there's been a fire at the lab, I'm gonna say as I calmly drink my coffee. <laughs> oh no, really? Come on, we must find Scientist Dell at once! 
And then the breakfast of dreams! <laughs> ah yes, toast and milk, the breakfast of dreams. Fluffy Bun Bun and Pinkie Panda rush over to the lab. This is mine now, Esper. Oh no, oh no. Scientist Snail, are you okay? No, oh, Fluffy, thank goodness you're here. What a mess! Oh, what have I done? What happened here? I thought I was a genius. I thought what I had created was... Hey, look out! <laughs> hey, my... my creation! Sorry, excuse me! It's mine now, you silly snail! That doesn't belong to you! Give it back to Scientist Snail! Why would you hurt Scientist Snail like this? Why would you cause all this destruction? And why would you ruin my coffee? My existence is beyond this silly little land! That stupid snail has made my dreams come true! I will spread chaos and mischief amongst all worlds! Everyone will bow to me and do my bidding! I won't let you get away with this! I won't let you get- Oh, shut up! You're wasting my valuable time! Later, pests! And don't try to follow me! You only hurt yourselves more! Uzu zaps off into the distance, leaving everyone in despair! As Scientist Snail sobs, he realizes he may have just the thing to help solve this problem. Fluffy's about to embark on a grand adventure! Fluffy, over here! I have placed a UFO for you inside each of these strange portals! It's quite dangerous in there, so be careful. Make your way over to Stage 1 Mellow Gardens to get started on your adventure! I'll do my best, Scientist Snail! Also, my, my cute voice kind of works perfectly for this game. Oh, ducks. All right, we, so we're a little bit Paper Mario-esque, I see. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to look around first. So what are the levels? So we got this level. Oh, it's a box here. You must 100% com complete stage Metal Gardens before you get all this stress. Okay. Hello. Hello, Fluffy. Have you seen these mysterious treasure chests scattered around? I think if you collect a bunch of stuff, maybe you could open them. Okay. Hello there, Fluffy. How's your adventure going? Don't forget to try and find as many items and secrets as you can! Finding items to upgrade your UFO may be the only way you can proceed. Yeah, we do have a level, like I mentioned. Melgar sounds like a Kirby level. Mushroom Cavern. Leaf Dragon! Ooh. Hello. Hello, Fluffy. You can change the appearance of your UFO here. But I can only do so much for you at the moment. My sister Tika is missing. She was last seen somewhere around Fairy Forest. If you find her, come back and we can improve your UFO even more. Okay. You can do. Looks like I. You can do absolutely nothing for me right now. So yeah, this is like Kirby. If you get the UFO power up, that may be what this game is effectively. You know the UFO power up. It's pretty OP. <laughs> so Fairy Forest, Mount Avia, Bratty Sprout is that boss. Hello. Hello, have you seen that rabbit near the mirror? She keeps talking about fashionable items or something. Oh, hi there, Pinky. Oh, Floofy, it's you. There's a big key thing in my big cup of coffee. Why do you have that big a cup of coffee? And that thing is so big, I can't even reach it. I know, Pinky Panda. Is there something I can do to help? Hmm, well, maybe if you can find a silly ladder or something, we can reach it. So have a look out for something like that. Okay, I'll look out specifically for a silly ladder. We don't want serious ladders up in here. Only silly ones. Hi, Bud Bud. Hello there, Floofy. If you find any fashionable items, you could try them on here. Would you like to try out some fashionable items? I don't have any fashionable items, but thank you for letting me know. I'm just gonna look at the whole- I'm gonna have- I wonder how big the game is, so I'm just gonna walk through the world map. Cosmic Grove. Wait, what? Huh, one boss- a boss fight, a stage, and another boss fight. A lot of bosses in this game. Grove Spirit, and then... Examine. The strange door is locked. It looks like you need a key. Maybe that leads to another world. He did say he was going to take on multiple worlds, so... Maybe this is just world one. That's a lot of bosses for a world. But hey, I'm down for boss fights. Whatever. Boss fights are fun. Alright, let's begin with level one. Level Gardens, which we... Okay, so there's a missing character... Wait, hold on. So we get to see... Okay, so we have a missing character and five collectibles, I guess. Alright. Let's begin. Okay. X to jump? That's an odd jump button. What? Why does it look like I'm doing a lazy karate kick? Okay. Yep. Whee! 
Hello. Hello there, Fluffy! Did you know that your UFO can shoot bullets? Tilt and hold the right analog stick to shoot in the direction of any direction. Shoot in the direction of any direction! That's a weird sentence, okay. Shooting can help you get past obstacles like wobbly rocks! Screw those wobbly rocks, let's make them wobble to their death. Uh... Hello, other... Hello, fairy again, that's... Do you have duplicates? Oh, hello! Do you see this heart container here? If you get low on health, use your special beam to scoop up some hearts to heal! It can save you from a tricky situation. What's my beam? Oh, okay. That wasn't very helpful. Oh, well. Because I'm full health. I also have a boost. Okay, cool. Fluffy, look! There seems to be a special coin trapped in this little room here. Maybe you can look around for a way to open the door. If you find a button, shoot it and come back here. Okay. Fluffy, look at this! I found this button just above us! I wonder what it does! Can you try and shoot it with your fancy UFO? Oh, I wonder. Okay, so five five golden coins in each level. Probably. You have new dialogue now that I did that? Hey, you did it! Did it open the gateway below? Oh, it did. They do have response dialogue. Cool. You found a special coin! If you collect five special coins, maybe something special will happen. I think. Well, if they are special coins, they should do something special. Otherwise, they are false advertising. Now, look at this, Fluffy. It's a map bubble. You should shoot it and see what happens. I, I get a destroyed map if I do that, I think. Once you pop a map bubble, you can press the map button to see the layout of the stage. Okay. Kind of tells you where secrets are, maybe? I don't know. It tells you where hearts are. All right, cool. Ooh, Floofy, be careful! There is danger ahead! Not all creatures are friendly like us! Some are monsters that will attack you! Don't be afraid to use your UFO to defeat them! Remember, if you get low in health, come back here and beam up some hearts! Okay. Hello, Apple. Apple Man. Apple Turtle. Just living Apple. I've reached level one. Alright, lovely. Oh. You're not destroyable, okay. Acquired Outfit Wanderer's Scarf. Hello, Floofy! Can you hear me over the radio? It looks like you found an outfit! How fashionable! Come and see me once you clear this stage, and we can try it on! Be careful if you exit or lose the stage! You'll lose your progress, including fashionable items! Good to know. Over and out! That's actually good to know, you can't- So if I miss an item and I come back and I quit the stage early, that won't keep the item. Good to know. Oh no, walls. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Hmm, I think there is something suspicious about the floor beneath us. Fluffy, why don't you try flying into it? I know it sounds silly, but maybe there's a secret area down there. I mean, the map literally shows it, so yeah. Oh god, those are gigantic attacks. Alright, cool. Your level number is now infinitely better than the previous one. I mean, level zero is a pretty special level, because it's hard to get zero. <laughs> oh shit, hi. It, it determinedly attacked me of leaves. Oh yeah, by the way, let's see here. Extra dialogue. Hmm, I think there- no, no, I guess not. I was worried she might say something more about secret areas, like other ways that can be hidden or something. Could have been useful information, I suppose. Hello. Are you trying to go further, Floofy? Hmm, well, it seems like this gate is locked. But there's a strange button here. Maybe you could try to find an object to help you unlock it. There might be something if you head down to the, to the into that tunnel. Ah, oh, I see. So that's why, so my beam can toss a tractor beam. Man, I am just, look at me grinding levels. Holy crap. Hello there, Floofy. Look at this mechanical sphere. It looks like it might be useful for something. You should try lifting it with your beam! There's a suspicious button back of the tunnel. Maybe it might be useful for that. What's over here? Ow. Oh. Mean plant. Mean plant. It's dead now. Queen.
I like this. Uh, it, it, twin stick shooters are nice in a way. This is an interesting aesthetic though too, isn't it? Ah! In here. Oh. Hello? Are you are you friend? Hello. Is this a dragon? Glassy glop. Grassy glop. Let's have some fun! If you can solve my puzzle, I will give you this silly bud drop I found. Oh, that must be the missing person thing. Hoo ha! Let's go! Okay. Fruity dragon thing. Uh, what's your puzzle? Okay, I see, so. Uh, I can beam through platforms, that's good to know. Oh, you solved the puzzle! How fun! Make sure you grab the bud drop! Oh, okay. Rescue. Bud drop rescued! Cats and UFOs? Do they say, take me to your litter? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That fucking pun. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Uh, I can I can kind of outrun the objects I'm beaming, so I have to be careful. My beam goes a long way, though. It's not bad, man. Mildly gross, but not bad. All right, we're missing one coin, probably over here. You unlocked the gates. I think you'll be, you're on your own from here, Floofy. Be careful. Remember to watch your health. You can always come back to heal using a nearby hand architator. All right, tutorial stage pretty much done now. Hello. Secret. Oh no, it's a giant. It's a Neo. It's a giant Neo pet that wants to kill me. Actually, everything. That's you know. That's the vibe I'm getting in this game. Neo pets. Wait. That's the end of the level. Oh wait, no, no, I do have all coins. Wait, where did I get the fifth coin? All right, cool. I think we're good then. Yeah, this is- th that's where I realized all of a sudden, like, wait, this is gonna be Neopets vibe. Congratulations, it'll be the first stage! You can upgrade your UFO by speaking the tanks into your garage. You can also change your outfit by speaking to Bud Bud by the mirror. I'm kinda curious, does upgrade UFO mean, like, make it stronger? Hello? Hello, Fluffy, you can change your appearance! Yeah, 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 we've already had this conversation. What can I do? You know, despite saying I can upgrade my- <laughs> Despite saying I can upgrade things, I don't think I have anything unlocked. Uh huh. Well, we'll come back later. Actually, wait a minute. Let's open the chest. I got goggles! Okay, we gotta put some clothes on. Come on, come on, Floofy, let's be decent here. Um Of course, with natural furry logic, if you put on any piece of clothing. Oh, plus one attack. This actually does stuff. You're naturally look, look. I'm wearing a scarf and goggles now. I'm decent because I'm a I'm a furry, and that's how it works. <laughs> All right, next level, Mushroom Cavern. Also has the same objective list. Okay. I know it's interesting. I noticed that we start each stage on foot. Ooh, this song this song is serious. This is a serious place. Hi, Fluffy. Did you know you can make your UFO go faster? I heard there's a boost button or something like that. Snapping around might help you dodge some of those things that try to hit you all the time. Or I could just kill them. Ah, uh, button. You need to unlock public decency. Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> it's a rock doll with a slime inside of it. Okay. Oh, that's quite a place. Alright. I'm gonna use my bolts to check for secret walls. That probably would work. Oh, hello. Seems like a lot of enemies are ground-based, but they also uh, have projectiles. Everything has projectiles. Oh, hello. Ha! Huh. UFO. Interesting. 
Ah. So there are situations where leaving the UFO is going to be part of the puzzle solving. That actually adds an extra layer of complexity. I like that. Hello again. Let's have some fun! Did you know you can shoot bullets through those green barriers? And bullets can bounce off those reflecting mirrors. If you can solve my puzzle, I'll give you the silly bun drop I found. Hoo <laughs> Let's go! Okay, I just take Grassy Glop as as this sort of like plant dragon that wants to eat all the what do they call them? Gun drops? I don't I don't remember what they're called. He wants to eat them, but if you solve this puzzle, he'll give them to you. <laughs> That's what I imagine out of this. Like, why is he capturing them? Bun drop, right? You saved the bun drop. Well done. Come and find me in another place, and maybe we can have fun again. I shall ransom things to Sig's life. It's either my dinner or your prize. One or the other. <laughs> Alright, what's up, what's up this way? Queen. Honestly, as as in any shoot em up, just fire ahead. And you'll probably be fine. Preemptive attacks, that's that's a strategy in shoot em ups, at least for me. Attack where I think there's gonna be an enemy, not if there's an enemy. That way I get the first true. Oh my god, that's a lot of rocks. Hmm. Nothing? Odd. Okay. Ow. Oh, leveling up heals you, by the way, apparently. Yeah, I kind of figured that first, that coin I saw at the beginning was coin one. Yeah, I mean, we had to loop around. It was pretty obvious, like, it was a one-way gate, so. Yep. If I do seem to be missing something at the end of level, I'll just backtrack and look for it. Honestly, I could tank a lot of damage, probably, but I like to play this like a shoot 'em up where I, I'm kind of treating this like a shoot 'em up where um, typically if you get hurt, you're, you lose life, like one hit, one hit death, shoot 'em up strat strategy. Maybe I should increase the difficulty actually. Can I do that? I don't know if I could do that now. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Oh, whatever. If I trounce the game, that's fine, too. <laughs> I'm fairly good at shoot up style games, so... Perhaps I should have increased it to hard. I'm kind of curious what the boss fights will be like, yeah. But the next level's a boss fight, so... We're definitely gonna see that in a minute. Just need to drop this down. Oh yeah, we can boost. I can speedrun with boosting. Oh, but boost has a, has a meter. That's fair. Okay. Boosting towards uncharted territory isn't wise, though, because I'll probably run into enemies doing that. What if I get his iframes, actually? Let's see. Ow. No, it does not. Okay. I like how the rock golem dies. It looks like it tripped. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the world's hardest game to be fun. Sometimes an easy game could be a lot of fun too. We'll see how the ramp. Whoa! We'll see how it ramps up though. 
I have to say, though, if this was one hit death, some of these enemy attacks, holy shit, like, I, you see I dodged that Rock Golem's attacks, but if this was one hit death, actually a one hit mode would be kind of cool in this game. I think hard mode is probably not one hit mode, but a one hit mode could be interesting. Some of these attacks are kind of hard to dodge if you do treat it like a one hit mode. We're going to treat this like a one hit mode. If I get hit, well, well, but, um, UFO part flower. Can I, can I, can I actually change the, uh, yeah, I know, I know. You want me to find your sister. Stop complaining. Plus one attack. Okay. And do we have another part? No. I thought we got two parts, but I guess we only got one. Put a flower on it. I don't see a flower on it, though. I'm a little disappointed. I don't like this menu either. It takes forever to like scroll. I'm pretty sure I got a second thing, didn't I? Maybe not. I thought I did. All right, onward to a boss fight. Leaf Dragon. Isn't that the guy where? Nope, that's not. That's a different. Who disturbs me from my slumber? Uzu. Uzu. I must stop anyone trying to do Uzu. Okay. Well, if you must. Leaf this place at once. All right, simple enough pattern. Do you have a pattern change? K kind of. <laughs> Oh, I got hit. So close. Ugh! What's happening? I don't feel myself anymore. I think... I think you're trying to help? Uzu. Uzu. Has Uzu caused me to be so angry? Oh, fuck. And you're dead. Oof. Uzu is corrupting the land. I did get hit. One hit the end. That was a very simple boss fight, but it was the first one to be fair. Rip Derg. Fairy Forest, sure. Not a lot of fanfare with that, actually. <laughs> oh. I didn't know I could climb that. Hello. Yeah. Shoot through these. Can't really do much with that, but I can shoot through it. This is very. I kind of feel like even on hard mode, this won't be. This wouldn't be that hard. So this is a real easy going game. You never know though. Sometimes I played some games that were really easy going, but okay, admittedly that trap requires a dash. But um, I played some games that are ridiculously easy at the beginning, but by the time you get to the end, it's like holy crap. <laughs> I'm just gonna make progress and see how the difficulty curve looks. Oh my god, those balls. Those balls can grow and grow! Huh. Multi part puzzle, I suppose. Alright. Ow. <laughs> they only did any damage. <laughs> That's one way to say that. It's the first way I thought of. Puzzles will get harder. Hello. Let's have some fun! If you can solve my puzzle, I will give you this silly bed drop I found! What? Let's go! Alright. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, a mirror? Yep. 
Oh. Oh, limited time though, okay. Okay, that actually requires some reflexes, what do you know? Uh... Oh, what's this? Huh, there's UFO parts in these areas? That's interesting. You saved the mud drop! Well done! Come and find me in another place and maybe we can have fun again! He always says the same thing, but I'm having fun, I'm having fun doing his voice. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think we got enough time. We got easily enough time to see World 2 at this rate, though. Because I'm efficient. Especially if, I'm, if I decide to be more reckless, I can be even more efficient. I'm not really scared of damage. <laughs> Not yet, not yet, at least. <laughs> I'm also something. Chests are not marked on the map or anything, or even tracked. It's entirely possible to miss parts, I think, without actually noticing that you did. Hmm. I guess the only way you could tell is if you notice that you're missing an item slot between two items, maybe. That might clue you in, but otherwise. Even if the game is really easy, this could be interesting to see a speedrun of, like timing your boost appropriately to, you know, get through bosses and uh, rooms faster and such. <laughs> Look how the thing threw a really big. Hello, how are you doing? Oh! Are you here to save me? Yes, I have defeated the monster here that was keeping you captive. Thank you so much. You should find me outside. See you later. Okay, I saved this sister. She's gonna rotate out of existence. It's fine. All right. See you later, Tara. Okay, well, I saved her. Hey there. You're the one that saved me, right? Thank you so much. I hope my brother Tix wasn't as useless as I always is. Wow, bird. Scientist Snell, Snell told us everything that happened and we want to help. Let's upgrade your UFO. Okay. Give me attack and a better dish and also more attack. What the? I know this this decal here doesn't seem to do anything. Like, it, nothing pops up. Kind of perplexing. I bet we're going to find the items in sort of order, in a, in a sort of order, so I'm going to kind of pay attention to if we miss an item, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Power power. Okay, well. Flowers! Oh. Ah, plus two attack. So items are just kind of a set upgrade, probably, each, each time we find one. Alright, what's next? Mount Avia. If it doesn't have birds, then what's... I hope it has birds, because the name otherwise doesn't make sense. Thought it'd take longer to save her. Yeah, I kind of figured that too, like... Okay, but... Well, like, I have to get her later, then we have a new upgrades list unlock later, but... No, it didn't take long at all. Okay, hold on. Why is there sort a of giant balloon there? I guess there's balloons everywhere, to be fair. Yeah, a little beat up, maybe. <laughs> oh no, it's the Wash Basin Monster.
Oh no, I don't have any idea where I'm going right now. I'm just recklessly wandering around. Now, apparently it was quite one. Oh hey, cool. Alright, let's see. What's this puzzle? <laughs> Really throw it very far. Uh oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I gotta wait for that to sell down. Hold on, I'm rushing. Can you please stop moving so much? There, okay. That's more like it. There we go. Bud drop. I need a map. Hmm, I don't think this goes here, does it? Incorrect shape, I thought so. I feel like I missed the map, actually. <laughs> huh. There we go. Nickel glass. Cat glass. Cat glass. <laughs> Interesting concept. Oh, there's a map. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. This place kind of goes every direction. This place is actually mildly complex. How do I get in there? Curious. Very curious. Ah, I see how. Or they just take it out and I can't actually kill them. But bloodlust! No, that just goes to the cave. Huh, I'm confused, but alright. Alright, you get to live this time. <laughs> I've been over here? Looks like I have. Actually, no, this is the beginning of the level. Okay! Hmm. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. This is actually, this level got surprisingly more puzzle complex, actually. Because if you notice, I actually need to go all the way down here. And take this back. And bring it up. Like, it's making me carry puzzle objects at a long distance to different puzzles. Which is an increase in complexity, that. What are you doing today, anyways?
Good. Chillin'. That's good. You have a lot of health, actually. All right, there we go. <laughs> Efficiency. The game does feel a little bit generic. I'm gonna say that as I as I continue onward. Oh, I, I, these, I'm actually f oh these the little bun drops are actually talkable too. I didn't actually even notice them. Bleep bleep bleep. You don't have enough cards. I can give you some. Bleep. Let's play fruit. Don't cuss at me, man. Stop bleeping. Also, what? What are we playing? F feud. 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 It's like three cards for your storage. These will be used for your game. Uh, goals of games capture as many of your post cards as possible. Achieve this by placing cards next to or on top of other cards. Wait a minute. If I remember stat the battle card, you'll capture that card. This is a little bit like uh, that Final Fantasy card game. I can't remember the name of. All right, Triple Triad. Sort of, maybe. <clears throat> kind of. Kind of. All right, um... Okay, pick cards. Uh, that one, that one, that one. That one. Oh, only three? Okay, well, uh... Let's cancel this one. How do I cancel this? Ah, okay. I mean, that, that card seems pretty good. Okay. I got... I wasn't expecting a card game, I have to admit. So, so wait. It didn't actually make it very clear, but I'm, I'll sure, I'm sure I'll figure it out by just playing. If he goes first, I mean, ah, I see. If I go first and I place this here, so can I capture that card with a? Can I one capture a one? Yes, yes, I can. Okay. All right. Oh, I see. If it stacks on top, then oh, okay. I see how it works. I think I see how it works. Okay, okay. It's a little triple triad, but also stack. Wait, what? I lost a. I lost it. I lost a card. Hold on a minute. This is actually more hardcore than I was expecting. All right. Um. So one beats one. I suppose it doesn't really matter where I place cards. This is. But I wait. Can I lose cards to the point where I? Like, hmm. I'm just thinking about this. How dare you? How dare you? Re How would I even rematch? I have now. I only have two cards. Here, let's select picked random. See what it does. Oh, I. But I have a flower. What? Where did that come from? I didn't have a flower a moment ago. The fuck? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> This is like Triple Triad, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's like Triple Triad, but less fun for me. Um, alright, well. Okay, so... I was right, I get to, to, get to keep that. Aw, oh, fuck. So, but, oh, it does the whole stack, though. Oh, it does the whole stack, though, okay. 
Fuck, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> so wait, I lose- when I lose cards... Going first does suck. Capturing the top card of a stack captures both the cards. I need that that much I wasn't understanding at first. Hmm. I'm surprised he did that, but okay. Fuck, that was actually a smart move, though, because I can't really do much about that. Um... Okay, sure, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, I won, so whatever. I mean, that one, I guess? This card once belonged to you, did it? I, mean, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> this is surprisingly more challenging than I was expecting. Also, I guess I just owned. Oh, I see. So I own it in multiple copies. That's the only reason I was able to keep playing. You know, I'm just to like pick at this point. Use those. They can't capture top cards, but oh well. I mean, assuming I could actually win, because I'm not very good at this. But yes, going first kind of bat is kind of blows a little bit. Um. Capture for the middle kind of worked out for me though, didn't it? Maybe that's kind of the key here. Seems like if I leave the middle open, I have a better chance, I guess. We want as many angry chompers as possible, though. That's actually good that you played that first. Um, okay. That's fine. Well, that's weird. I kept that card? Alright, then sure. There. It, it, locking him into a corner at the end is actually pretty helpful. Okay. I'm getting the hang of it, sorta? Okay, there's another Angry Chomper. The key here is just play Angry Chompers. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I guess the, this guy's kind of useful too. Well, yeah, he kind of does. I mean, you can't capture the card on, on top of him that he put he sits on top of, but he's flexible at least. Uh oh, no, no, no. Start with orange. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think the key is never take the middle slot first. Make them take the middle slot first because it gives you more options. Yep. See? Never take the middle slot first and you'll generally... What? You motherfucker! Yeah, thank you. Take the orange. I don't care about him. It does, I, think my stra I think what I said is still accurate, though. I think it is still a safer bet. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. I actually don't really know how that went wrong for me so bad. Um, maybe I will take the middle then. Yeah, actually, wait. No, that's a good idea in this case, because he can't take the fly back because he's got zeros. So he can't take it that way. Oh, I guess he could do it. What? Wait! 
Oh, what? No, I took it. What the fuck? Okay, sure. That was kind of a weird combination of events, but sure. And unfortunately, I think he may have won. Yeah. This is harder than I thought it would be. Why is the base game so easy yet this card game is brutal? This is the first to pull it, too. If you're not going in the middle first, you probably should not use orange. Alright, I'll go in the middle first, then. With orange, I guess, is what you're implying? Zero plus zero equals he turned my card still? What the fuck? Okay, sure. I hate this game. <laughs> wait, wait, I won? Okay, sure, but I still hate this game. If I have three flowers, I can kind of win. You know what? Fuck it, actually. Let's let's use nothing but the weak cards, because that way he can't take my flowers. Haha. I don't know if that strategy actually makes sense, but whatever. Wait, what are you implying, Beerus? Do you imply that I should use orange in the middle immediately? Is that what you're implying? By, by your statement about not using orange if I don't use the dough in the middle first? Like, does orange in the middle first make the most sense? I don't quite understand what you're meaning. Orange should not go on the sides. Fair. Point first does put you at a disadvantage in this, by the way. Unfortunately. Uh. Ooh. Sad thought. That was a weird decision. Alright. Can I, like, can I play to the point where they run out of cards, or do they just keep going? I just realized, Flower is the only card that goes right. Well, except for Orange. Honestly, playing Orange in the middle seems to be working out for me, so... Oh, they have another Flower. Well, that's the third Flower I wanted, so... Sorry, just thinking. I knew he'd do that. Can I can I take it back? Maybe. Actually, yes, I think I can. No. Actually, maybe. I think I'm good. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Give me your flower and die. <laughs> or chop or whatever you're called. I don't care. Uh, God, okay, um, sorry, just this game, <laughs> it's kind of hard. What about you? What do you like as an opponent? Okay, you don't seem that, oh, fuck, not first. Okay, fine. Hi, cart! Why would you do that? <laughs> just gave me a card, all right. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, he's playing his ultimate gambit where he gets points right at the end. 
Which ironically works. Fuck you. I was kind of forced into that position, though. I didn't really have much of a choice. Going first really is bad. Okay. Yeah, okay. I should be okay doing that. Because then he'll turn... Yeah, going first is really bad because you want to have the last move, and if you go first, you don't get that. Last move is the clutch, really. So really, I feel like my way of- my luck of winning is based on whether or not I'm going first. <laughs> Wait, you know what that makes me realize? Yeah, you could turn the game- yeah, the person who goes last- the person who goes second also goes last, so... That person can easily turn the game. This is quite a poorly designed, actually, I feel. It's like kind of like a simpler triple triad, but it kind of... I don't know what to say about it. It's like... Not as good, I guess you could say. It, it does kind of put way too much power into the last move, I feel. Because, like, watch. He's going to turn all those cards and I'm going to kick everything back. It's like, oh my god, I'm losing. I have zero points. Wait a minute. No, actually, I have all the points because I did the last move. It's like, yeah. It's, <laughs> the last move is really just too powerful. Leia Mayo, you did the guy's play. I'm learning. What about this guy? Hi. I'm just seeing if they have any different cards. Oh, just oranges. Oh, fuck that shit. I'm not played. Oh, are you sure? You, if you lose a card, if you the opponent, if you quit now, oh, that would. Hmm. I think if you are, yeah, actually, now I think about it, I just realized, if you are playing first, you want to fill up that middle slot because it's kind of the clutch slot. So fill up that middle slot. Make sure they can't take it back from you. See, logically, I think I, 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 want, I want to go on the right here, because then he cannot capture... Yeah, he'd only have two cards, and no way to capture. Boop. Yeah, going, going first definitely makes the game harder. Rematch, because I'm really curious, do these guys ever have different cards, or what? Feels like I've taken all their flowers. Oh god damn it. Okay. Yeah, so I I think I'm kind of learning like, yeah, if if I'm going first, then I want to take that middle slot kind of quickly, which I kind of didn't do actually. Why did I not do that? Oh, well, whatever. Maybe I can still make it work if he's stupid. Good, he was stupid. Um, okay. Actually, I think I, I think I lost. Yeah, I lost. Hmm. No, wait, no. Actually, you can't capture the card underneath. I might be okay. Right. I forgot about that. I mean, their cards seem very boring. Do they all have? I guess they all have the same cards, right? Well, let's complete the world, if anything. If nothing else, let's complete the world before we quit the uh, session.
Yeah, they, they, they were kind of, they were, that, that card game seems like it was based in Triple Triad, but they wanted to do something different with it, but it's not very good. Apparently I'm now a squirrel or something. Um, Alright, there we go. Ratty Sprout! Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing here? Uzu has told us not to let him through. So behold! Prepare! Beware! <laughs> My balloons of fantastic power will stop everyone! <laughs> you probably should have a- Oh my god, what is my attack now? What? How do I hurt, actually hurt you? Oh, I see. It's like has random eye frames. But when you shoot him balloons out, he can uh, be hurt. Even if I was in danger of taking a lot of damage here, um, there's hearts to my left and right. I mean, this fight is a bit tedious, so I'll give him that. You lose! Oh wait, I think I lost. No! Very well! <laughs> I'll be your friend! Please don't tell Uzu about this! In all honesty, I'm quite scared! Okay, bye. I'll tell him about this, but also you must perish. Whee. Now you get pants. Wait, what pants? Oh yeah, I did get pants, technically. <laughs> Check it something. All right, let's finish this world and see what happens when we finish the world. Cosmic Grove. Oh, I guess he's just hanging out now. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> so you defeated me, huh? I'm sorry, I was being mean. I couldn't help it. I felt like a spell was put over me. Well, now I can enjoy, enjoy life and just play my favorite game, Feud. Let's play. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> sure, why not? What do you have? Oh, you have a- oh my fucking god, those cards. I'm going first. Well, this is it poorly. Not quite enough. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'd be nice to see the cards they have before uh, I play them. <laughs> Just a random thought. Wait, wait, does that mean the dragon I defeated is over here too? No! The dragon I defeated is not hanging out. That's weird. Alright. <laughs> This card game feels so fucking disbalanced. I, it really doesn't feel like a good card game. Alright, Cosmic Grove type. What's even the point of playing that game? I don't really see one. Let's play Sister Bag music. Why this? Oh wait, that's a plat. Oh, oh, oh. I get it. It really is just a card game that is is way too much swing. Also, like, holy shit, those card differences. Triple Triad had some really powerful cards, but you can still technically win with weaker cards due to the amount of complexity to the game. That, though, that game's too simple, where if somebody has better cards, they're just gonna win, I mean. Also, that fucking Dimply Spike. Like, where was I supposed to get cards to counter his at, at this point of the game, you know? 
It feels really, yeah, it feels like a really not fun game to play. Not worth, not worth your time. Hey, Floofy! Do you see that scientific-looking ball light around? Scientific. I heard the one in here is special. You can't beam it up or anything. I sound like that. I suppose that means you just have to let it fall. Oh, I don't know. Too much for my fairy mind to process. Don't hurt, don't hurt that brain of yours. <laughs> So I want to make it fall, huh? All right. Oh, this place is, uh, okay. I see the puzzle of this level is to drop this block down, down, down. This looks like a Mario enemy from one of the Mario Luigi games. I can't remember. The alien shroom guys. Shrooms? Is that what they are called? I don't remember. I, don't, I actually played that one. Stuck there. Figured. Um, Alright, there's a switch door there. So what do I think about this game at this point? I'm thinking... I feel like the normal gameplay is a little... It's a little on the generic side. I kind of like it, but... I don't feel like it's doing enough, but again, that's why I want to get to World 2 to confirm whether or not anything changes. But, aside from that, um, that card game is unnecessarily simple and difficult at the same time. Not sure why it's there. It doesn't seem like there's any thing I was getting out of game cards. It seems like I, I get card I, I play the game so I can get cards so I can play the game so I can get cards. The card game that is. Um so it's kinda of seems like a feedback loop. Ooh, bear off it. Like why am I playing the card game? Well to play the card game some more. It's like, oh okay. It's like I guess that's uh I guess I I guess that's uh a reason, I suppose. I mean, in, in Final Fantasy VIII and stuff, like, Triple Triad had... You could take those cards, you could break... You could turn them into different things, and it was actually, like, an effective main gameplay, basically. Card game has the opposite problem of Yu-Gi-Oh! And what exactly does Yu-Gi-Oh! have as a problem? I seem to have missed a coin somewhere. Oh well. This way, the way this level is arranged, though, I'm going to look around before I confirm that I actually missed something. That's, uh, that's a lot of enemies. Well guarded, I suppose. <laughs> 
Huh. Oh, there's a cube over here I could use. I didn't have to bring the same one down. I made that unnecessarily difficult for myself. Or com not really difficult. Unnecessarily convoluted. There's actually one right here. <laughs> Oh well, whatever. Oh, okay, that's just the end of the level. Right, I'm missing a coin and a... Rescuing a bean thing, which I kinda now don't want to rescue given that they play shitty card games with me, but you know, whatever. Alright. Where am I missing stuff? Let's check the court. Let's check the end of the ends of dead ends. Okay, do the rub. The rub? Let's see, Yu-Gi-Oh is nightmarishly complex. At least it plays well though, right? Oh, there. There we go. Hello. <laughs> hey, I'm not lying when I say he wants to eat them. Look, he has, he has a fucking dinner dinner table ready. If you can beat me at feud, oh no, I just realized what this means. Well, there's my answer as to why do I play this. Wow, he's he has shitty cards for now, but I bet later on in the game he has really good cards and it's going to be like, not great for me. So they're going to force me to play the card game to actually get all the collectibles. I don't like that very much. Oh boy, which card shall I take? Uh, seriously though, what happens if I just run out of too- what if I just run out of too many cards? Like, I just- yeah. What happens if I just were to get less than three cards, have all my cards taken from me and just have three left? Or two- two or two left? What, what then? Will they just give me some random cards? No, I don't want to play with you again. Go away. If that's the case, you could just throw those random bad cards at the game and see if you could win. I mean, it might be possible given how bullshit the game is. Depends. If someone said a coin. Also, top, off topic is for that viewer count has been steadily growing by a few people each stream played by the pound not includes, so they always bring reviewers. Really? Has it been? Have we been? Have we been seeing an increase in the audience? <clears throat> hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just never went up there. All right, there was the, there was the last one. That 40 is pretty good for, uh, now for an hour, actually. Well, I'm glad that people are wanting to watch more. 43? Is that what we actually have? I can't tell. See, so, yeah, this card game is bullshit, uh, and I don't like it. Achievement unlock is four of cute mill. Okay, cool. I wonder where I got that. I got a bear onesie. Can we all admit that onesies are pretty great? Like... Some people are like, those are only for kids, but I'm just like, you know what, fuck you, onesies are great. I don't- I'm, I don't have a onesie, I want a onesie. They're, they just seem very comfortable. Tic-Tac-Toe is a better game than this one. Yeah, I'd rather play Tic-Tac-Toe. And actually- Tic-Tac-Toe doesn't involve you losing- like, imagine though, this card game with how bullshit it is. Imagine if I did eke together some good cards. And like, clearly what the game wants me to do is is get better and better cards as I go, right? Actually, let me try something. I want I want to know something. You want to know what happens if I run out of all my cards? This guy will let me know that. I'm kind of curious myself, so I'm actually gonna. Th what I'm actually gonna do though is I'm actually gonna throw um these cards. I'm just gonna throw the weak cards at him. I want to first. I want to check two things. One, can I actually beat him with shitty cards? I'm intrigued by this. Because this game is so disbalanced that maybe I could.
Oh damn, I think I did. Well, no, I didn't actually. That's fine though. Because like I said, the other thing we're going to test if I can't beat him is... What happens if I run out of my cards? I thought I might have had something there, but I didn't quite. Going first is really bad, though. I think it really makes it clear how disbalanced a card game is when it's simply the, when you get to the fact that, oh, going first, that's really bad. Like, the fact that that's really bad indicates exactly the problem. Yeah, I don't mind losing all my cards, because I'm not going to be playing this long term. And I don't think I... Even if I did play this full t full through, I don't think I'd care about this game enough to uh, actually get all the... Because uh... obviously I need to play Feud to get better cards to beat the dragon so I can get more of the rescues. But I, 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 I wouldn't... I don't know why I would... I don't think I'd care. <laughs> I don't think I would care. <laughs> wow, it just gives me first over and over again, doesn't it? That's nice. Wow, I was really indecisive about that one, wasn't it? Alright, zero beats zero. I won. <laughs> Somehow. Wow, stop it! <laughs> Actually, I think about it. Put him over there. Okay. Huh. Interesting decision. The AI is not very smart, though, so it kind of makes random decisions. I mean, it won, yeah, but it was still a weird decision. What the hell is that one? What's that blue thing? Hey, look, he's going first for once. What do you fucking know? Amazing. Um... Interesting decision. Again. It's weird. There's no way to tie this, I noticed. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, pick random. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Pick random may as well be a good choice, because... I'm actually, I'm just going to speed this up by just throwing cards down. <laughs> How did I... And I won. What? <laughs> okay, okay. Fine. Hey, maybe there's a strategy here. Throw your weak cards at an opponent to get their strong cards by bullshitting them. And then later play the strong cards once you're, like, really powerful. I don't know. Well, just don't give a shit at first, basically. <laughs> it appears that any time I use a strategy, I lose, but if I just throw shit down, it, it seems fine. I don't understand that, but okay. It's forced to play some of the weak cards you won from him. Wait, he's forced to play some of the weak cards he won from me, you mean? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Get wrecked, 
she's like that's, that's that's actually kind of amusing all right um Yeah, you know it's like Yeah, I think the word shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, if I run out of too many weak cards. Snail? <laughs> Professor Snail is very powerful. Um, alright, let's see. I have a dumb idea. <laughs> It's called baiting. All right, um... Come on, take my card. Do you know you want to? Okay, fine. I, wa I was trying to bait him. <laughs> but it is true, he randomly picks, uh... Worse and worse cards, the more I give him bad cards. I mean, I guess you could technically get better at this game, but it's, it doesn't feel very satisfied. I really want that whatever the hell that is. <laughs> oh, you placed it. Um... Interesting. <laughs> Interesting decision. Um, okay. Very interesting decisions he's making. <laughs> Grove Spirit, okay. My attitude was just to play these weak cards until I ran out, until I lost the ball and then I would quit. <laughs> um, I wonder if the game gives me infinite amounts of certain weak cards, though. Because if so, that means I could never, I could play it in such a way to never risk my actual good cards. Hmm. Weird decision you made there. All right. I don't understand how he's playing, <laughs> to put it quite simply. That being said, I think he won, but oh well. <laughs> that last move is where it comes down to all the time, so. Well, look, I'm I'm out of those cards now, but now I have now I'm for see now I'm forced to play one of the better ones, so I don't want to. <laughs> Basically, actually, wait, this is simple. If you wanted to really strategize, just play one of the basic beans. With your good cards, which you technically have much more of a chance of winning with. Um, I don't think anything can actually beat the Grove Spirit, for instance. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Even better if they go first. And more or less, you just want to leave. Oh, okay, well.
Oh yeah, he has no recourse if I place this here. He literally can't defeat that. He's like thinking about it. He's just like, what? What? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you just pick on these guys, steal all their weak cards, so you have. Oh yeah, I guess his cards, his own card. I got, I got his, I got his card. Anyways, I'm done playing this. But yeah, I think the strategy is get, collect up some weak cards, go play, go play this one boss. Get his strong cards if you can, using your weak cards. If you run out of weak cards in the process, go back to the first guy and get some weak cards. Uh, go fight that guy again to get his strong cards. Again, never play anything but your weak cards. Unless you know you can win. Uh, so basically, pick on the guy- pick on the weak guy with your strong cards to get more of his weak cards. And then use the weak cards are- are oddly enough against the strong opponents. So you're not risking your strong cards. Rinse and repeat until you have the best cards of the game by progressively escalating that strategy, I suppose. And eventually, you should be unbeatable. I guess. <laughs> it's feasible, but it would take a while. So he wanted to, he needed a ladder, by the way. I don't really understand how to get a ladder. I'll probably switch games first, but let's finish this world up. I think it's really mean. I don't really understand why you lose cards. I think that's actually kind of a bizarre mechanic in a way. Like, hello. Ah, oh, there's a girl spirit, speaking of which. Small cat, go away. No. I refuse. Oh, look, there's a ladder. This is how we're playing it, huh? Okay. The fuck? Do a barrel roll! This guy actually kind of hurts, so. Better credits do. Actually, wait. Can I just. Look? Yeah, go ahead. If, go ahead if I'm there. He'll make his way over. Just give him time. Oh! Pizza! No! Small cat! Small cat win. Uzu will be angry. Well done, small cat. Ow, you hit me one more time. I'm a little hungry too now. Yes, I, I know. Yes, letter. Got it. Oh, it's I see, it's the key to the door. Why did I not figure that out? Pinkie Panda, I found a ladder for your cup! Maybe we can use it to grab that big key! Oh, a ladder, huh? Well, I guess that could work. Let's see. Let me shriek into the ladder and take a... I'm just gonna bathe in it? Ah, oh, that's nice. You can keep the silly key. You're just gonna bathe in your coffee, huh? Alright. Is that, uh, that a good time? Alright. When you're too addicted to caffeine. Um... Alright, so where does this take us? Oh, just... what is this, actually? Well, that looks very Kirby-esque. Let me just, uh... So they gave me a U of all part. Happy Cloud. The upgrade system being so linear means that you really aren't going to have a lot of cosmetic death, considering you're just going to equip what's strongest. Kind of a sip, kind of a wasted system, that. World Selector, okay, what do we got here? Ooh. Radio crackles. Floofy, can you hear me? Is this your first time in space? Let me help you. 
It seems like Uzu has released some chaos energy to create rift boundaries separating our worlds. Although, after you defeated some of those big boss monsters, this nearest rift seems weakened. Try to make your way to that cake-looking world. I'll meet you there with Pinky Panda, Bun Bun, the others help! Oh great, I'm not even hungry. Over and out! Mayor Crackles. Let's see. What are the other worlds? That looks like some sort of nightmare world. And that looks like some sort of time world. I wonder, what, I wonder how many worlds this game has. Candyverse. Where were we at? Cute Bellow. Ah, yes. Chaos Emeralds? I did? I didn't even notice. Well, I think I'm about done here, though. I think we see the general flow of the game. And I think I have an opinion. There is a two-player mode. I should mention that. I think it's just... I think it's just co-op, basically. Which, you know, I think that makes the game even easier, but, you know... Um, Flippy's Adventure, I actually rather like the look of it, but the gameplay, it's not bad, but it doesn't really have a lot of, it feels si mechanically simple, it's not very exciting, and you just kind of shoot stuff, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's perfectly serviceable, but unless it great, get, gathers more death later on, uh, I don't think it would be terribly complex. Again, good children's game, I'd say. It's not too bad. I feel like even in that sense, it could be more interesting. Uh, but a good, I guess if you was one a really easy game to just waste time with or just chill out to, I guess this is, you could you could do worse. You could definitely do worse. That card game, which does seem to be a, a factor for 100 percenting you do seem to need to play it for that. I assume more dragons will have more card games to get rescue those uh, beans, so... Uh, it looks like you'd have to actually play slash grind the card game to actually get good cards. Uh, and I don't know, I, I, it's weird. The main game is easy, but that card game is really kind of hard and unfair. I don't know why they made it so you lose cards if you lose. That is a weird mechanic. I would think that a game that's directed towards children and is generally easy slash easy going wouldn't take your cards away as a penalty like that. That could, that honestly seems overly weirdly brutal for how the main game works, comparatively. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Floofy's Adventure, I don't feel like it's quite working out. It could have been really good as it stands. It's just a little, it's okay slash generic slash mildly interesting. Well, that's about the best I could say for it, unfortunately. Not bad, but not really anything noteworthy. That was Floofy's Adventures. Or Adventure, rather.